Alright. And get play. This song is so easy. This is Poggers. I have no idea what to think. I've never seen this matchup play before. You know me either, bro. I'm thinking a lot of shield when I was going to fuck up these combos. Oh my god, that was almost really good. They almost hit him with the hook shot from Duke. I thought him out, I was going to shoot himself in the foot there. Oh, he didn't use the second one, yeah. so he didn't make it back. You take more knockback load buster, right? Or something like that? You take like 1.1 times knockback and then damage is just crack. Like him taking damage? No, like both players. Uh -huh. Oh, no punish off the parry. It's pretty interesting. Yeah, Probably would have been able to. Like... He's kind of like camping, and, like just taking his opportunities. He's passive camping, right? Yeah. He'll, like, he'll stand in like the range where he can do burst options, but like he'll just intimidate him by like not even shielding. Yeah, he's just kind of like he's really not just shielding. He's just matching. Yeah, his positioning is really solid. He's staying outside that range of shield for like he'll he swing with the arrow, but he won't like connect because he has time to shield. Yeah. Like, the sweet is gonna fuck all that up. Oh wow, he double mashed that. He just stayed with that too. Frame three. He's still up a full stock, so unless he gets smashed out of the way now. Yeah, he's, like he's already lapped him and then some of percent. Yeah. That did like no knockback. Oh wait, what Monado was in? It was Buster. Oh uh, yeah, that's why. That's it? Damn, bro. Yeah, he's gone, bro. Even I was like, oh, he got eviscerated. Yeah. That was a good tech chase on the platform. You know, like, <laughs> covered every option. That's true. It was a good recognition. It was good recognition. Let's see what the damage output is with Dude, Speedrun Buster. has been his saving grace. Whenever he turns that shit on, that's when he gets it. It looks like every time he goes into Buster, like he does a nair. And then, like, it looks like a grab is, like, true out of him there. Yeah. He never goes for it. There's definitely some, like, habits going on. Hold on. Did you win? Yeah. 2 1 or 2 0? 2 1. This is. Mateo. He needs to, like, if he ever gets, like, a no, I think he's gonna be fucking He's gonna be fucking out. Yeah, his like mentality right now is he's like he's like yeah I'm a fucking choke. Damn, that dash attack right to the back and that's gonna be it for him. Yeah, that move is that's crazy. Like you would not think that was like that long of a game, but it kind of was. That's true. It's weird that you have to camp against both the Echo's characters. Like super no, it fits it fits his face off. The anti camp. No, to like play like the characters that like he plays characters that are insatiably impressive. Yeah. You should play Inkling. I think you should play Fox. That's the other character you should play. That's true. Or Pikachu. Pikachu would be a good pick. That's just a completely different playstyle, cause like yeah. then you're living, you're learning to live a like yeah, it's, over it's 150. Like the, the same idea. It's just it's a very different kind of like mindset you have to have. Seems already working better than game one, but now Jude has taken the side. I mean, she has not an idiot. No, he's, he's definitely like a, play, a smart player. He just needs to like learn to. Uh, he needs to learn how to pick and choose his chances. He's, I want to say this, he's like one of the players where like, I feel like you shouldn't have to come in all the time with a game plan. You should be able to like, kind of have a grasp of what you should be doing, like in general. Yeah, make a, game, like, make it, make yeah. a game plan on the fly. Like, he definitely is like, especially from playing him, like, he's definitely the player where like... He'll have a set game plan. He learns it like through playing, but like it's just like at that point like it's a little too late. So he, he, he comes in, he's like... Like when we played last time, like he asked if he could make notes for like DVD before we played, and I was like, sure. But it's like one of those where like you gotta like have that shit with things better. But still, he's doing fucking much better now. Yeah. yeah. 
Yeah. And it's kind of interesting because Jackal asked him like game one whether or not he wanted to start PS2, and he said no. So they went to town. I guess they probably generally went to town. But um, now on PS2, he's doing a lot better. I don't think he thought he was gonna go Joker. Maybe. Probably. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah, this is a new G attack. Oh no, I played a uh Minecraft too. Never compared to as well. It's just the character two different things. Yeah. So they cover they cover two different like two different specials on like matchups and stuff. The only thing that's weird about Jackal and like is like None of them cover like short characters, I guess, because I think Wolf does. Wolf does kind of okay. Wolf does a really good job, but, but it's just Jackal's play style isn't like suited to handle that kind of shit. He tried. He tried to get the super hard ring on the the regular getup. That smash attack isn't like that bad. Oh, yeah. That smash attack's kind of really. Yeah. Alright, no short short smashes are fucking ridiculous. Yes. Yeah. Think they would be. That's like a two hit. Yep. Yeah. What were we talking about? Um. Yeah. Yeah. I hate that. It's because Duty's Death Smash had four hitboxes. That they got rid of. Oh, that was a good way. And good reaction. Still This is like one of those songs that should not have been on the stage. Pretty. Yeah, it's a weird matchup. Yeah, it makes sense. Wait, who are you playing? Game 1? Junior. Oh. Yeah. I'm gonna grind Apollo with Mateo later, though. What? I'm gonna grind Apollo with Mateo yeah. later. Like oh, you're picking Apollo? Yeah. You it's sold out. Okay, I gotta get it's exactly what I, what I told you. Too much. Nah. No? Get you gotta implement a lot of what Biddy does, and then, like, just play how he's been playing. So it's even more passive. Yeah. yeah. And then, you get to feel, like, the explosive and use the sensor. Like, you see how, like, Biddy was playing versus, um... Same game too. Like he was like exactly the fuck. That's me. Well, it's because you gotta. When it comes to like playstyles and shit like that, like you can definitely. I don't want to say mental break people, but like if you like assert your dominance over like one of the games, the next one you you have you understand like what your reach is and you can go for more. And if you if they don't push back against that, you can just keep fucking going with those doing like that. Especially with the characters like that like young one. It's, it's hard to anti snowball young way. Yeah. Especially when that's like again when that's like Both of the characters in this set that we were supposed to be commentating are like that too. Yeah, that's true. You can't really anti snowball them. Because Arsene's not only like a comeback factor, it's like a snowball. Joker you kinda can once he doesn't have uh Arson. Because like he only has like one actual really reliable code to there. That's yeah. Yeah. But you could also just fish for uh fair one because it's relatively safe on shield. Yeah, but like if if Joker is like running at you, you're gonna be shielded. Like you're not gonna like try to fall. But the thing you. about the thing what like the thing about like MK nah. And the thing about like what MK Leo does a lot is he'll wait like he'll sit back and he'll wait for you to approach him, especially because most of the time MK Leo is playing, he'll put he's playing with a lead. So he'll just sit and shield, like he'll just run away, and whenever you're approaching him, is when he'll catch you. Well, yeah, one. that's what the character like the character allows you to do. Joker, when he has the lead, is like a character like like Rob or like Bowser and shit like that, or like it's or like Olimar and Dumont, where it's, you can't really fucking do anything. Like you have to like, really pick and choose your spots very correctly. Yeah. And if you fuck up, you get the one. So it becomes a numbers game. Yeah. Joker. You gotta like. I, I, I'm, I mean, I'm dumb, I'm not gonna work with that. I think it's become like, you gotta like, weigh like, the, the decisions. You don't wanna be wrong so many times like, yeah. from that point. Yeah, I guess both those characters, you can only be wrong so many times. Like, heavies are like that too. When you fight Bowser, you can only be wrong like twice. Yeah. Yoshi's another one of those characters. That's why I like characters get blown up by Bowser. Yeah. yeah. If you are like, uh, what's it called? You're a uh, Pandarian out of his way to fucking. Hype up Arfang when you combo Bowser. But uh, Arfang's punish game is fucking amazing. Arfang's punish game is actually kind of sick. And if you have one like that, when you play a character like that, you, like, you, you can't really mess with that. Yeah, yeah, actually, thank you. His punish game is godlike. Right. It, 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 it is, but like to, to say it after him fighting Bowser, it doesn't, yeah. you can't really do that. It doesn't do it justice. Yeah, because like, yeah, 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 I mean. Score. Oh, yeah. Thank you. 
Yeah, yeah. yeah. this is game three. You played really well game three. Yeah, I don't want to play. Yeah, the shield. Yeah. Interesting stage pick. Yeah. Oh, that's uh, that's Jackal and Echo Sean. I'm surprised you let him go here because you know his blast zone's off the side of a like, crazy small. And but that benefits both characters. Yeah, especially. Especially. It benefits yeah. both characters, but like, I'm specifically thinking I'll be out of shield, kill him from across the stage. I want 15. Like, that's going to kill a lot of Oh, yeah. he should have. He might have actually been able to touch a front right there. I mean, I mean, yeah, I, mean, yeah. I, mean yeah. I mean, but yeah. the thing is, you have to ban shit like Smashville and Yoshi's. Yeah. So, so, or Tam, um, so yeah, but, yeah, it's only good for Joker once he has R10, but Shulk literally has red and all the time. So yeah, uh, he has the curl. Is that and Shulk can overcommit? Oh, uh, here it is. Yeah, he, he has the roll. Yeah, that would have been death to be at that point. Remember when Nico came in friggin' uh, Yeah, when he came in the I played every time someone's off stage. He's like, all right, red time, baby. He's. He'll literally, he'll literally get you off stage, and then he'll ledge trump, drop down with Smash Monado, and just up B. Yeah, because it covers everything. Yeah, before, before that, this game was actually looking pretty solid. Like, it definitely showed that, like, Sean learned something from, like, in between game one and two. He just didn't get that full up he hit. And then it first got. Damn, I'm really trying to make some Dude, the best commentary is when you don't know your commentary. That makes sense. Like, really, we just Whenever you're just kind of talking about the game, yeah. I mean, yeah. that's the point of a commentary, like a commentator. If you know what you're talking about and you enjoy talking about the game, like, that's the point. Yeah. 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 We hate to see it. Example really of Joker snowballing. Hello.